All right, so let's talk about layouts and pages. So the first thing we need to learn about Next.js is that it uses a folder-based structure for routing. For instance, we have our app folder, which is again, the core of our application. And within that, we have a page.js and a layout.js. This page document within the app folder corresponds to this forward slash, which is the home page of our app. Now, when we get to learn about routing, we will dig deeper. And as we build our application, we will use multiple routes and we will learn about routing and it will all come together. But for now, just remember that Next.js uses folder names for the URL and it starts with the app, which is the same as forward slash in the URL. Now let's clean up our application so it is easier to see what's going on. I'm going to start with this page.js. And the first thing I want to do, rename this to page.jsx, since we are using HTML within a JS document. And you notice again, we just have a function that is returning some markup. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything in this return statement. So all of this HTML and just replace that with a simple div. And let's have an H1 that says homepage. Now we don't need this import anymore. So let's get rid of that one too. This is much, much simpler now. Then let's go to our layout.js. Again, rename this to layout.jsx. And again, I'm going to clean up this document. First, I'm going to delete this import, but we will keep our CSS import. Then I'm going to delete all these variables and this export. Then we have our function, which is called root layout, and it is accepting the children prop. Now this one is returning the HTML tag with the body and then the children prop that goes within the body tags. And of course we have some classes which we can delete since we deleted those variables. All right, so now we have our layout, we have our page, and next we can open our global.css and delete everything except these directives. We can also delete this icon as well as the fonts folder. So we are not using any of those fonts. Later on in the application, we will bring back fonts and we will talk about them, but I want to keep this as simple as possible. So we cleaned up our app folder. Let's also go to tailwind.config.js and delete these colors. We don't need to extend any theme. We don't need any plugins and the rest can stay the same. So we just want to make sure the content array is pointing to the right folder for our CSS classes. So it is pointing to the source folder and then a pages folder the components and app. Now we're not going to actually use these pages so we can get rid of this and keep only these two lines. We will have components and our app is already there. So let's save this one as well and close it. And going back to our website, we can see that we have our homepage text and nothing else. So very clean and simple. And if we inspect our site, you can see we have our body tag, our div, and then the h1 that is coming from page.jsx. Now you might be wondering, how is this coming together? How is this layout being recognized, even though there is no mention of it anywhere in this application? So Next.js relies on the name of folders and documents to make our job easier and to recognize what we are trying to accomplish. So for instance, when we call this document layout.js or JSX or TSX, Next.js recognize this as our layout that would be shared among other pages. The layout, which is under our app folder, is the main layout of our application. And page.jsx or TSX is going to be the main page for that URL. In this case, again, is forward slash. So again, names are very important. For example, if we change the name of page to my page like this, then Next.js will not recognize that and we will get a 404. So let's put it back to page.jsx. And that is basically how we can define routes and layouts and pages. We just need to name our folder. Then within that folder, we will have a layout.jsx if we want any layout and we will have a page.jsx. So in the next video, we will talk about routes and we will see how this works in action. But before that, let's make our layout a bit better. Right now, it is just returning a body tag and a children within it. I'm going to just cut this for a moment. Then within the body tag, I will start with a header and then with a nav. And for now, I just want to say nav as a text. Then we will have our main tag. Within the main tag, we will have that children. And then after that, we will have a footer. For now, let me just say footer and format my code. So this is our layout.jsx at the moment. And if we go back to our website, you can see we have our navigation, we have our main tag, and then the footer. 
And again, if we inspect our site, we have our body tag and then we have our header, main and footer. So Next.js makes it quite easy and we don't have to worry about telling our application where to get this layout and it is automatically recognized by Next.js. Now in the next video, we will talk about routes and see how we can navigate between these routes.